Hello everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Today, I'm going to introduce to you our work, building IMU data into SSM for image-based 3D reconstruction. The work is done by Hua Yuan, me, and Yun Shen. Let's go through the content I'm going to present. First, I will briefly introduce the background of our work. Then, we will have an overview of our reconstruction system. After that, I will go into details of our solution. And finally, we evaluate our work comparing to existing algorithms. Now, let's start. Three D reconstruction has long been studied over years. However, it gets a high demand on the completeness and the quality of the image sets. Its performance against a sparse image set is to be improved. The main reason is for the difficulty in detecting and matching feature points, and thus miscalculation of rotation matrices. As sparse image set provides limited information, we turn to extra methods. With the progress of the electronic devices, most of the smartphones now equip an embedded IMU, from which we are able to calculate the rotation matrix of the smartphone. So here, we put forward an IMU-aided reconstruction system. The structure is shown on the side. There are two essential parts. IMU data processing, that is estimation of rotation matrices, and the IMU data fusing, that is IMU-aided reconstruction. The first thing we do is read from IMU sensors which will offer us the angular velocity in three direction of the coordinate. By integration, we get Euler angles from the angular velocity. And by filtering, we get rid of the noises produced by the sensors. We can now compute the rotation matrix from the Euler angles. Then, we need to rotate the matrix into our camera system by the normalization step. Finally, together with the input images, we do an IMU A data bundle adjustment and get the point cloud as our final result. Now, let's go into the details of our solution. The first is the IMU data aggregation. We simply read it from the gyroscope sensor on smartphone. Next, due to the tangent and the other noises contained by this on-the-shelf sensors, we apply common filter to do the filtering. Then, to transform the rotation matrix from IMU coordinates into camera coordinates, we utilize the, the Lie algebra method. Here are the two essential equations. The first is the formula to calculate the rotation matrix from the Euler angles, that is the theta in three directions of the coordinate, that is theta x, y, and z. The second is the formula stands for the relationship between rotation matrix of IMU and the one of camera. Where RCK is the camera rotation matrix and RMU K is IMU. K stands for the order of the camera and R chance means the transformation between camera and IMU. For a better understanding 
Let's take a look at the picture. Every photo we take, the rotation matrix R chain between camera frame CK and IMU frame FK stays constant. Being provided with multiple pairs of data, we can solve the function with Li algebra method. Finally, we can get our rotation matrix of camera RCK. We can now using the IMU data into the reconstruction. We did a modification to the original bundle adjustment. On the above is the traditional bundle adjustment function. Now, we add a, an extra restriction with the land into the function. Well, RCI stands for the rotation matrices computed from IMU. And the RI is the matrices to be optimized. Let's see how our work works out. First is the subjective evaluation. On the slide, there are image sets as the examples, toy car and pencil case. Comparing to other structures promotion method, we can see that bundle contains holes and much background noises. Visual SFM lost more information on the surface. Code map nearly lost one side of points in the toy car image set. Our method seems to preserve more details and produces less noises. Objectively, the next thing we do is to evaluate the completeness. That means how much we preserve the rotation matrices of different camera positions. On the side, there are three pictures in which the green points stand for the camera positions. Bundler has miscalculations on many cameras, and the visual SFM lost the track on nearly half of the cameras. Our method manages to preserve the most camera positions and calculate them more precisely. Statistically, we investigate the register rate by which we mean the camera positions actually being calculated divided the total number of photos in the image set. We can see that we hold the first place in all image sets. Finally, we do an efficiency evaluation. The diagram on the side shows the number of points constructed per second. We can see that our method outperforms others in most image sets, except for multiple objects. To conclude, aiming at improving construction performance against sparse image sets, we put forward an IMU-aided 3D reconstruction system. The two essential part is processing IMU data and fusing the data into bundle adjustment. By Kalman filter and the Lie algebra method, we managed to compute rotation matrix of the camera from raw IMU data. And by adding an extra restriction with the land, we managed to fill in the IMU data into the bundle adjustment of a traditional 3D reconstruction. Thank you. This is now time for 10-minute questions.